Let's download and install the Koyos GUI miner. We'll do this in six steps. First, we'll download and install the miner. Next, we'll set up our private key. Then we'll fund the mining account. Then we'll check or adjust our settings. Then we'll provide the Ethereum address for coin rewards. Finally, we mine. All right, let's download and install the miner. Head over to coinos.io and click the download miner button. It will take us to the GitHub releases page. From there, we can select our operating system. I'm on a Mac, so I'll download the DMG file. Once downloaded, we can install this just like any other application. It will prompt us to drag the app to the application folder. Then we'll open the applications folder, find the Coinos Miner app. On the Mac, it'll be necessary to right click the app, then select open. It will ask us to put it in the trash. No, let's not put it in the trash. Cancel, try again. This time it lets us open it. Coinus Miner is installed. Next, let's set up the private key. Click on the key button, choose a strong password, read the warning carefully. If someone has the private key, they have access to all the funds and can easily steal everything. Be forewarned, click next. We are now greeted with the 12 word phrase. This phrase is the only way to recover the private key if we are to lose the password or access to the miner. Take extra care when handling this phrase, save it in a safe place, probably make a copy. Whatever you do, do not put it on YouTube with your 12 word phrase clearly being displayed. Now we have to verify our 12 word phrase. Click confirm. We now have our funding address. We will need to copy this address or use the QR code and send some ether to the miner. I think starting out with 0.2 ETH should be fine. We can always add more. Click close. Next, let's check or adjust the settings along the top of the interface. Over on the top left, we have the Ethereum endpoint. This is the public Ethereum node that will allow us to communicate with the Ethereum network. If you're not a blockchain expert like me, just leave this one be. Moving right, we have the proof frequency. This is where we set the target number of proofs we are willing to submit, either per day or per week. There's a more elaborate explanation on the GitHub README page. See the link below. Basically, each proof submission costs Ethereum gas fees, but all proofs are not necessarily equal. I think four is a good start. We can always bump it up or down later. Moving further right, we have the ether balance and the key button, which we already covered. The balance in our account will decrease as proofs are accepted, not on every submission. Again, the readme file will have more information on this. Below the ether balance, we can't see this as we have not started mining yet. There will be an indicator which will try to calculate the mining time remaining according to the ETH balance. We can always add funds to the account by sending ether to the funding address. Finally, all the way to the right, we have the dev tip. This 5% helps fund the development team and keep the project moving forward. Open Orchard thanks you. Next, let's provide the Ethereum address for coin rewards. Next to the power button is the recipient address field. Here we have to enter the Ethereum wallet public address where earned coin will be deposited. It is recommended that this address be different than the funding address. Now we're ready to mine. All that's left to do is click the power button and wait. Mining doesn't start till October 13th, so if you're watching this in the future, you will immediately start to mine, but for now we can just leave the app open and the mining will automatically start when the counter reaches zero. That's it. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, sign up for our mailing list, and visit our website. See you soon.